I have two deaths. I have a kid standing next to the guy that got shot right in the back of the head so he could watch with the murderer saying it right to him, lay down on the ground and go right next to him. The horrific deadly shooting at Oxford High, now the subject of criminal and civil proceedings. Attorney Vin Johnson handed a big victory in court Wednesday on the civil side. A judge ordering the release of all evidence contained in the Oakland County Sheriff's Office file relating to the Oxford High School shooting, including surveillance footage. On behalf of the victim's families, they have an absolute right to these materials and, and other cases that involve many tragedies, uh, they give these things up without any motions because it's a public document. Prior to granting the release of video and documents, the judge had concerns about some of the evidence being released and influencing the criminal trials of alleged shooter Ethan Crumbly and his parents. Of course, you are entitled to discovery. I think the question is the timing that you are entitled to it and Certainly, to your credit, you're a very high-profile lawyer. You are in the news every single day. I can imagine uh, that it could be prejudicial if those, let's say the security cam videos, if those were out and disclosed. There is a mechanism where uh, we could have a discussion with the prosecutor's office or someone who wants to view the video, but not have a copy of it. The Oakland County Prosecutor's Office released a statement saying, quote, it will seek to intervene, end quote, in an effort to stop the release of the documents and video, citing concerns about the impact on the criminal trials and giving the Oxford school shooter the notoriety he sought writing in part, quote, the civil cases are also an important part of achieving justice for the victims, but we are asking that the criminal cases be allowed to proceed before more evidence is released. They go on to say, we want to avoid any public release of video or other evidence that could inadvertently encourage future shooters. We asked a representative of the Oakland County Prosecutor's Office what intervening will look like and if they've already taken legal action to prevent the release of documents and video. We're still waiting to hear back. Hillary Golston, Fox 2 News.